pure pressure. We'd like to think that we're stronger than that, that we can handle other people telling us to do the wrong thing and we're going to stand up for what is right. You know what's amazing is that in a moment, Pilate did stand up for what is right. And that helps us understand just how powerful peer pressure can be to get someone to change. Have you struggled with peer pressure? Do you feel that you have fallen in the face of peer pressure? How we thank the Lord for a savior who made that sin his own and died for that sin for you. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, and the people and said to them, you brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I've examined him in your presence and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. As you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will punish him and then release him. Now, it was the governor's custom at the feast to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. A man called Barabbas was in prison with the insurrectionists who had committed murder in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate said to them, It is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of the Passover. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, the king of the Jews who is called Christ. Pilate knew it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over to him. 